Hello, my friends. Thank you so very much for checking out my channel today. Please give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell as I continue to bring you weekly content. Thank you so very much for watching this video. Your viewership is much appreciated. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 1996 reissue of Beast Wars Transformers. They issued, reissued these... Uh, Figures last yeah last summer because we were supposed to see Rise of the Beast much sooner than what we did, but because of that annoying Knorr virus, uh, a lot of movies got pushed back. So I don't wish the Knorr virus on anybody. I haven't had it. I've got consistently tested for it at one of my other jobs. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging as we always do, shall we? There's Megatron with the silly, looks like a bunch of bats on his head there, but that's just part of his armor, so it's just really silly. We'll look at that once we get into its robot mode. Again, he's just blasting away a Cheetor and the other Maximals. Beast Wars Transformers. And of course, there's Megatron again. He does have a few gimmicks, as you can see right there with the missile firing out. We'll get into all that. And of course, Fred's Cannon Blaster. Water Blaster. Yeah, I haven't messed around with that too much. And of course, a picture of Megatron again. Beast Wars Transformers. Same thing on this side, just picture of Megs, just all angry. Megatrons are just always angry all the time. Of course, there's the UPC code, all that nonsense. Legal mumbo jumbo at the bottom of the box. Top of the box, not much happening here, just same thing. T-Rex turns into two evil Predacon Commander robot. Beast Wars Transformers, even though the Tyrannosaurus Rex is just a popular dinosaur. Not one of the strongest. He did have a lot of competitors out there. And, of course, the back of the box. This is one thing I miss about back of the boxes when I was a kid. They always would show, like, the other figures you could buy. Nowadays, it just shows one figure. But it's an Ultra Class. He's Ultra Class, which is pretty much Leader Class. And those would be Big Voyager and Dulex Classes from 1996. Very nicely done. I am going to get Optimus Primal, and that's probably where I'll stop it at. I don't want to have a bunch of reissues. Just the leader classes, or ultra classes. And of course, here is the card from back then. They would just put it put it on the box. Very nicely done. I'm just a sucker for these old packaging. And that's basically it for the packaging. Of course, let me scooch my table up here a little bit more. Here is Megatron in his dinosaur mode. Very nicely done. Beast Wars Transformers didn't have much to uh, compete with back in 1996. All they had to compete with was Power Rangers Turbo, which was terrible. I think the next mutation for Turtles was out by then, but I couldn't be wrong. That was terrible, too. Good televisions did start hitting the airways again until Power Rangers in Space happened. Here's the top of him. Yeah, it was a little tricky trying to get this to connect, too. Oh, and, of course, here is the gimmicks. Pull these out, and he's got his little weapons here, and of course they can fire. Show that off real quick. See? Wow, how much fun. Yeah, that's pretty much the figurine as a whole. And here's where the water would spray. I think you would take his tongue out. I haven't messed with it too much, like I said. You just take his tongue out, fill it up with water, put it back in, and spray. But I'm not doing that with my phone, so. All right, let's go ahead and get some comparisons out of the way, shall we? There he is. With his nemesis, more up-to-date Primal. It's either he's smaller, which is supposed to be because a monkey, excuse me, ape would be a much more, <clears throat> excuse me, much would be a much more um, smaller size for a T-Rex, unless you've seen King Kong. And of course, he could probably fit on there too. But they're not friends at all, so. And of course, here he is with more, that's more up-to-date. Generation Select to Combat Megatron. See how they look there. I, have to, I also have to re-record this too because I ended up losing my, my last uh, video file on it too because my phone was being a little screwy. And here he is with the obvious pick. Transformers Kingdom Megatron. These two are supposed to be uh, different versions of each other for age-wise. He This Megatron is supposed to be in his 20s, 30s. And for age-wise, for Beast Wars, the one that we're familiar with in the 96 series, he's supposed to be more of a, I think, 45 and over. He's supposed to be maybe 50s, 60s, I think, for age-wise. And I think age-wise goes for Optimus Primal. I think he's supposed to be in his 30s. But as you can see, they're pretty much about the same size. He's a little bit... Kingdom Megs is a little bit closer. So they look from back here. A little bit closer. 
All right, now that we got that out of the way, there's really nothing really much to go over, but we can go ahead and get him into his robot mode, which isn't too hard. Just bring these down, bring this up, turn that around, that will be his head. We actually have that backwards. And just leave these out for now. Actually, no, take that back. We can get this to come all the way out. Come down here. Where's leg jaw? And I'm just gonna leave that there for now. Come back over here. Yeah. Can be a little tricky sometimes. Not as tricky as Kingdom Bigs is. And of course it came back down again. You just gotta finalize it. Bring that chest and make sure the chest is back into place. And then there we go. Almost done. As you can see, there's his head. I do not like that at all. But we gotta finish transforming it. Come back to where his legs are. Bring these down. Yeah, turn his hip around. And there we go. Yeah, we got him back into his robot mode. And of course, you got these things here. I think that's supposed to be armor. Because he could, if Optimus Prime was firing at him, he could do this. Close him. And hide his head here. It's just, this looks silly. I'm very happy that they did not put that in the TV show at all. I actually didn't have, uh, I did not have the original Optimus Prime, this one, this one, the Optimus Primal from 96, but I did start collecting them once the Transmetal Two Ways came out, because that's when I could legally start working at the age of 14. Yeah, here's what it looks like. Here's his face. He's just all angry. His chest, uh, pretty much, Pretty well show accurate, I think. And of course, here's the back of him. I absolutely love Beast Wars and the Beast Owl. That was pretty cool. Articulation-wise, head looks side to side. I think it can't do full 360 if I close these damn things again. Darn things, sorry. Gotta watch my mouth, even though they said that a lot in the 90s Turtle movie. Arms can't do full 360, too. Of course, he doesn't have any hands. Yeah, he doesn't have any hands. There's supposed to be a hand here like they showed in the show, but they didn't put that there in the toy. And, of course, the legs can do the splits. And he can do kick, too. It pins at the knee. The only annoying thing is just these darn things. And waist articulation will spin around doing a full 360 degrees. All right, let's go ahead and get some comparisons out of the way, shall we? All right, so from the far... Here's what he looks like with Optimus Primal. I'm just kind of recording this from the back like this, so when I put it on my shorts, it'll show up a little bit easier. And, of course, here's what they look like really close up with each other. So, yeah, he's Voyager class, and Megs is supposed to be leader class. So he can actually stand up pretty well, well Megatron can. And here he is with more up-to-date self, Combat Megatron. I just went back and recently watched him, him goes uh, review of this of Combat Megatron, and I just laugh at all his skits he does. That's why I like him because he's always funny with his skits. At the end of it, it brightens up my day. You see, he's shorter because he's supposed to be Voyager, and he's a little bit taller because he's Leader Clash. Leader Clashers. And last but not least. Here's what he looks like with his more up-to-date self. Yeah, as you can see, they're about the same size. Here's a closer look of them. Yep, much. Nah, damn it, that happened to me earlier when I was tra transforming him too. It's all right. It's all right, not a big deal. The obvious pick here with Megatron. Here's what they both look like. So you get roughly the same. They could be twins. They could be brothers. But obviously, they're supposed to be the same person. So, yep, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the review today. Please give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. I do contests. I'm going to do another one at uh, probably around January once the new year hits, which I'm still not looking forward to that time because I live in a four-season state. So, yeah, I hate wintertime. I love fall, summer, but 
But yeah, just give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell as I continue to bring you weekly content. Again, thank you all so very much for your viewership. It's always appreciated. Thank you.